D. Mr. Christian Matheson. Thank you. Uh, question five, sir. Uh, Mr Speaker, we debated this point at some length in the Northern Ireland Budget Bill yesterday and the frustration from all sides at the lack of a Stormont executive was palpable. As my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State, mentioned in her earlier reply, she has met with the five main political parties and the Irish Government recently and I can confirm that discussions are ongoing since then. Christian Matheson. Does the Minister share my concern at the increasing polarisation of politics in the UK and particularly in Northern Ireland? Is he satisfied that there is sufficient uh, diversity and pluralism within political representation to make the re-establishment of the Assembly a success? Mr Speaker, we we elect the politicians we deserve and he is absolutely right that there are periodic calls for a greater variety of um, of representation and range of representation, both in this Parliament and I'm sure um, in Stormont too. The difficulty, of course, in Northern Ireland is that Northern Ireland's politics have been far more polarised for a very long time, and we are trying to collectively and on all sides usher them back towards the centre ground and towards cooperation at least. David Simpson. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, would the Secretary of State acknowledge today that the lack of re establishing the Assembly? It's not down to this party. This party does not have red lines. It's one party that is causing the difficulty. That's Sinn Féin. Would you acknowledge that today? Um, well, Mr Speaker, I, I think I will probably um, quote the, uh, the, the Labour Party spokesman on this yesterday when he said that the existence of preconditions or red lines um, is quite frequently a facet of, uh, of talks processes. And the point is to get a process which allows us to overcome those preconditions. Um, and if we allow ourselves to be sidetracked by their existence in the first place, we will never get anywhere towards actually succeeding. Dan Jarvis.